Hi and welcome to Creative Life TV. I'm Linda Peterson and in this mini episode a couple of jewelry findings and a little bit of wire are all you'll need to create this acorn pendant. Perfect for fall. So before we begin I wanted to go over the materials that you'll need for this project. You'll need a ball chain or any kind of string material whether it's leather cord whatever you choose. I have a head pin here my head pin actually has a little ball at the end, it's a little decorative head pin. And to make the acorn, you'll need a jump ring, a little seed bead, this is a little spacer bead, a bead cap, and then of course your faceted bead. This is the one that we're going to be using here. Um, and that will make the acorn. You'll need a metal leaf charm, and then I have about 24 inches of 20 gauge wire. Okay, I'm going to create the pendant uh, base or the focal piece of the pendant which is going to look something like this only a little bit smaller and I'm going to do that by coming in about an inch from the end of the wire and making a bend so bend it all the way around my pliers like that and then I'm going to take the end and wrap it around this is going to secure it into place you can do that a couple times and then you can just snip off the end there and press it flat with your pliers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the loop and to do this I like to massage my wire because that um, helps it to have nice flowing curves instead of harsh bends and I'm just going to run my thumb over that and bend this around like this till it comes back to the top and I'll wrap it around and I'll go back the other way. So you're going to do this a couple times. Each time you want to make your loop a different size. So you, you actually want to see three or two or three, three or four different size of loops down at the bottom. It gives just a little bit of extra something something. And remember, these instructions are going to come out in our Cool to Craft newsletter, and also they will be on the website at lindapetersonlive.com and cooltocraft.com. So if you miss any part of today's show, um, you can watch it 24-7 on the Linda Peterson Live website. We have all my shows streaming there. So, here is your base. And now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the leaf. If your leaf, your charm has a hole or has um, a different player, if your leaf has a hole already, that's wonderful. You can also drill a hole if you want. I'm not going to go to that much trouble. I'm just going to wire wrap my uh, leaf onto my pendant. So to do that, I'm going to use 24 gauge wire. It's thinner wire. This is copper wire and it's tarnished already. So you'll notice here that I have lots, you know, I have my leaves and what I'm doing is I'm just wrapping that wire around one of the areas. I'm bringing it back to the top and I'll wrap it around here. That's going to secure it. I'm going to bring it back to the front and down the other side. This just makes it look like it was uh, meant to be that way. A little bend in my leaf here. There we go. So it's kind of a little decorative element there. And now I have my leaf wrapped securely onto my wire. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to wrap this onto that pendant. It's just a matter of taking your wire and wrapping it around to secure it to the base, like you see here. Okay, just a couple of times and you'll want to cut that off and then tuck this wire under so that it's not sharp and it's not sticking out. Tuck that in there real good. Now let's go on to creating our little acorn. Okay, it's super duper easy to create the acorn so you're going to come in with your head pin. Uh, like I said before, mine has a little ball at the end. It just gives it a little something something and you're going to put on your bead 
your bead cap, and then your spacer bead. You can use this exact same design to create a matching pair of earrings if you like. That'd be fun, huh? All right, and you noticed here, I didn't explain it, but you noticed that what I did is I just took my head pin and the wire, I put it in my uh, round nose pliers and I bent it around to create a loop. There we go. Now I'm just going to snip the end of this loop off right there at that bend and you've made your acorn. So let me find my, there it is, jump ring here. Let's attach the jump ring and then you're going to completely close the loop. Just like that. Okay. We're going to wire wrap the jump ring then. Start a little wire here. So I'm just going to come in Threading my wire just above my leaf there. I'll give it a little twist here to secure. And the reason why I put it on a jump ring is it allows it to dangle. If I would put it directly onto that little loop that we made, it would make it kind of rigid. And I want a little bit of dangly in there. I'm just going, instead of cutting that wire off, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coil that around, make that into a little decorative. Add that on. Oops. There we go. And wrap it back around. Coming together. Make sure that you have all of your wires tucked under. You don't want them to snag your clothes and you don't certainly don't want them to scratch anyone. So now all we have to do is attach it to our ball chain and take a look at our finished pendant.